Cricket is a game with lots of strange and confusing terminology. If you don't know your googly from your Chinaman, why not check out the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? It starts off with the basics, some of the equipment you'll need. You'll need three stumps which stick in the ground, two bales to go on top. This forms the wicket. You'll also need some players. The bowler, who bowls the ball. The batsman, who tries to score as many runs as he can by hitting the ball. The wicketkeeper, who stands behind the stumps to catch the ball. And the umpire, whose main job is to give people out. If you're lucky, you might get chosen to be the twelfth man, whose main job is to sit off the boundary and drink cider all day. For much of the time in cricket, very little happens at all. These balls, where nothing happens, are called dot balls. Sometimes, though, everything happens at once. The bowler bowls the ball, this is a delivery. It hits the batsman on the pads. The bowler appeals, the umpire gives him out, and the bowler celebrates in his own inimitable style. Well done, bowler. This is, of course, infinitely preferable to another dot ball. Batsmen score runs by hitting shots like drives, and if they hit it especially well, they might just get four runs for it. What a superb shot this one is. Another way to score runs is by having a wild swing at the ball. This is known as an agricultural shot, but can sometimes end in a little bit of embarrassment for the batsman. There are plenty of ways to get out in cricket, for example you could be bowled. This is a great way to ruin your day. If a particularly good bowler manages to catch the edge of your bat, then you might be out caught as well. If the batsman is playing quite well though, it might be difficult to get him out, so you might need to resort to other tactics, such as sledging. The fielders here are trying to put the batsman off his game by making comments about his batting technique, and probably about his mother. You can also put the batsman off his game by accidentally bowling the odd beamer. If he's good enough though, there'll be no stopping him. Well done sir, you've reached your century. For thousands of more entries on wonderful subjects, why not visit the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash h2g2.